talking bollocks now. I really should put that duvet back in his case. Underpants. It's really hard to grip things with your toes, isn't it? Like the tiniest, weakest fingers. Got it. Yes. When sometimes I stop at a lay-by just to chill, sleep, edit a video, whatever, you often see people with uh, vans kitted out for carrying dogs. Uh, it's mostly the same van. Lingo there. My partner was a dog van. Got another Bilingo. Another Bilingo. Normally, the channel plods along with maybe every week getting an extra subscriber, or maybe two. But after Brett's shout, got a hundred new subscribers joined, and you are all welcome. You know what? I've uh, just published a video about going to the laundry and uh, I was trying to figure out why my clothes smell and why my toes itch and uh, yeah look at this smoking gun here at the moment I put the pods into the laundry I put them in the loading tray and they're just going to stay dry they're not going to dissolve are they I bet they're still there well, it's a few days ago now. Oh, what a burk. What a burk. I remember Brett in his shout out made the very astute comment. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to be funny or not. Well, joke's on me now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, God. And what's more, since the laundry was done, I just assumed they were all clean. So I just threw them all back in the same suitcases where all the other clean clothes were. So now I've got no idea which is which. So this time, when I redo them, I've got like nearly twice as much to do. Oh, it's probably more than one great big washing machine load. Oh, no, what a prat. Oh, God. It is, it is what it is. And uh, I didn't really want to talk about it, but uh, I've had this itch right at the base of my coccyx, you know, right at the top of the crack, base of the coccyx, right in there, just... Oh, oh. And like athlete's foot for my bum crack. <laughs> Oh, it's another stupid content video. Oh, dear, how do I get myself in these scrapes? Oh, idiot, just incompetence, <laughs> ineptitude. Uh, green, rookie. Mm, yeah. And it was because a commenter wanted to see me do a video about a laundrette. And normally I just do a service wash because I find everything difficult about Laundry and I, got, I, I cocked it up. Now I gotta wash all my clothes. And what, what am I gonna, even gonna wear when all the rest of my clothes are being washed? Oh, must be something like my suit. My suit. Oh, but then there could be pant, no pants, no socks. Suit and sandals. <laughs> That's another channel. Oh. Bloody hell. Normally, really calm on my little walks through the trees. That's just really taking the shine off it. It's like a tenner to do all those clothes. Probably cost me 15 to do the whole lot next time. Unless I want to sniff each... Oh, that'd be a video, wouldn't it? Sniff each sock, each underpants. <laughs> See which one stinks, which doesn't. 
can't guarantee 100% accuracy with that either. Right. I'm busting for a wee right next to the river here. But every time I flop my member out, someone walks by and I've got to flop it back in again. And Right, I think the coast is clear. Ah, oh, another one. God, bust it. How many more? Oh. Okay, I'm going. Oh, I don't care if I get caught. Oh, no. What other YouTuber publishes quality, gritty, realistic, authentic content like this, eh? Oh, life does take on a more relaxing tone when you're no longer busting for a pee. And uh, the worry about having messed up your laundry, that's, let's face it, on the grand scheme of things, compared to, say, losing your business and having to live in the cheapest van on Gumtree with an MOT. I mean, on the grand scheme of things, that's trivial. Trivial. Idiots. Look at the way those rivets line up under the bridge, depending on the angle you look at it. Just turn a little bit, there's a new angle of alignment, a new one. Whoa. Hmm. I guess it's all about integer ratios, isn't it? Like, the major one will be you go along one, you go up one, then you go along one, up two, and then along up four, up five, and so on. Hmm. Well, I'm still quite close to that laundrette I went to before. I just need to accumulate enough coins I'm going to stop at the next convenient point and take stock of my coinage well, that's how you do it in style and these barges now people used to take the mick out of preppers like, what are you preparing for? You know, this is the best civilization humanity ever has. And then it turns around and bites your ass and takes itself down. You with it. Oh, and then we see who's prepared. Nice. To quote Franz Kafka and the sky having clouded over it began to rain back from the shop got a massive job lot of uh, fabric conditioner in orchid scent whatever orchids oh I remember yeah quite nice and Check out this smoothie, this new purple smoothie, £1.75, that's all right, isn't it? Pomegranates, raspberries, apples, rose, rose water. That's what Turkish Delights uh, flavoured, isn't it? And loads of laundry cards. <laughs> Best not get these two confused when I have a drink now, is it? Put this straight in the back next to the washing powder, then I won't get it mixed up.
And you know what it means, don't you? Is that all of that smeg and toe jam and skid marks and grit and dried sweat and dead flies and God knows what, just of skin flakes are just all washed through all of it. My towels, my shirts, my bedding, my pillowcase, my duvet cover. Oh, and that blanket that I lie on, that's where I got the itchy bottom from. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh gross. Oh. That's a new low, a new low even for me. Oh. I'll have to go through all the clothing tomorrow, see if I can pick out any that I haven't worn before. And if only I could do a live stream, maybe a few of my viewers are even more autistic than I am and they could pick out the clothes that I haven't worn yet in the whole of the two series I've been making these videos. Oh, it only has to go back to the first laundry. Yeah, that was Glastonbury in series one. That was the time before, so after that. Oh, yeah. I mean, otherwise, I'll just start, well, like, what am I going to do? Winter, I could wear my winter clothes. That involves digging up all the deep storage in the van. Wear my winter clothes into the laundrette. Oh, oh, I'll have to have a shower first. Put on the winter clothes, then do my laundry. Otherwise, I'll just be, oh, God, absolute flea bag. Putting on all those uh, nice clothes once they're done. I, yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe I'm just uh, overthinking it, and uh, it's fine. Uh, let's check this towel out. Oh, oh, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. It is. One of the true great pleasures of van life. To hear the rain on your roof. 